IB Maths Higher Levels Paper 3 is probably one of the toughest exams on the entire IB exam schedule each year, starting from November 2020. The reason I want to make a video about this is because it recently stumped a lot of the people in my school when we did an exam on it. Um, it stumped me as well. Compared to other maths exams, it causes me great difficulty. Well, not great difficulty, but like, it is, it is substantially more challenging than the other exam, is the point I'm trying to make. So how do you prepare for this exam when it's fairly new and the resources to prepare for it are either mostly paid for, like Revision Village, you need to shell out some money in order to pay for a subscription, which is not helpful to some of you, and or they just don't exist because this hasn't been out long enough for useful paper 3 IB specific things to have been created. So what I want to talk about is the step exam, its past papers, and how it can help you prepare for IB Maths' paper 3. So the step exam is a annual maths exam in three levels, one, two, and three, although the, er the easiest level, level one, just got discontinued. And it's been going on every year since uh, 1987. So there are that many past papers. And there are about 13 to 16 questions. And the key thing is, like maths paper three, they're all 30 minute questions, and they're all very, very heavily involved. But they make use of the same basic mathematics for the most part that you would learn about uh, in your IB course curriculum. It's just that the application of this is taken to a really far away level, similarly to the spirit of the paper three. Like it, this is what the paper three is trying to do. The difference mainly is that these questions are not so structured and they're usually one or two parts for the whole 30 minutes and you can pretty much assume that they are non-calculator. I'm fairly certain the exam is non-calculator anyway. So this website is probably the most important website I think at least to me at the moment for preparing for maths paper 3 because it has 1000 404 of these past step questions and each step question is basically one paper three question there are only two on the exam so that's like over 700 past papers so I did mention that they were split into three levels of difficulty and I'm going to say that maths paper three is probably on the same level of difficulty as a, a typical step one question or a very easy step two question. Because firstly, even though the maths in step is um, in step one maybe slightly easier, you need to take into account the fact that it's not structured. And secondly, step two and three are just like so ridiculously hard like this exam sixth term examination paper is meant to be taken after your um, IB or A level exams at the end of year 13 and so it is correspondingly difficult and if you can like consistently do step two questions easily or step three questions easily like stop watching this right now and go study another subject because this is not going to be helpful you already have a seven in maths probably no matter what because you are incredibly well prepared if you're able to do these questions consistently so literally just start anywhere but the these papers are broken into three sections you can see generally what the kind of topic is next to the question title here s1 or S2 or S3 in the question title refers to whether it came from the step one, step two, or step three exam. And that's basically like the the measure of difficulty. And as I said, step one is probably the best place to start preparing. And if you feel that there are many step one questions that just crumple under you, like 
you're able to do them consistently and easily and obviously move up to a higher difficulty. One of the main points I put out in any preparing for maths exams video is that you should n not waste your time on questions that are very comfortable for you. You want to get into your discomfort zone. And anyway, what I was saying is that you can see the topic of these questions on the side. You can see that they also fall into specific categories. So here you've got work, power, friction, collision, circular motion. These are all topics mainly associated with the study of physics, and they are physics questions. You can take a look at them, try and answer them with your physics knowledge if you feel like you'd like to. Perhaps it can prepare you for paper two, although paper two physics certainly does not have anything this involved. And I would say if your overall objective is just to prepare for ID exams, you don't need to do that. But you can also take a look at the last few questions, which are going to specifically be about statistics and probability. So you see here probability density function, discrete random variable, etc. Like these questions all have statistical themes to them because they're in the statistics question of the paper. Overall, the distribution is that about three-fifths of the paper is um, just regular maths questions of any topic, and then one-fifth is physics and one-fifth is statistics. And if your objective is to prepare for the IB paper three, you want to be looking at step one from regular maths and possibly a little bit of statistics if you're doing HLAA, and step one statistics and the bits of regular maths that involve um, the specific applications that you look at, like graph theory, matrices, or so on and so forth. Because there are questions with these themes. You can search for questions by theme in the search bar over there. And for curiosity, this spec on the side here is because these come from the first specimen paper that was ever released for the step exam back in uh, 1986 to prepare students for taking it in 1987. So overall this has become an incredibly useful base of paper 3 questions basically which you can draw on and to further do the math for you if you only use step 1 paper questions that's about 200 past papers of paper 3 and if you break it into the different question types you get about 40 45 past papers which are just two statistics questions and you get about 120, 130, maybe more sort of regular paper 3 questions if you're HLAA that do not involve statistics. So obviously the, the diversity of the questions here is really high and you can get whichever questions or whichever topic that particularly causes you difficulty. Remember you don't want to be doing questions that are easy for you and that's basically it I have. That's all I have to say for this website. And so if you have problems with a particular step question, um, or if you have problems like doing these step one questions from the get-go, I suggest that you go to this website, the University of Cambridge's maths.org slash step. Um, the other website is the step questions database. If you just search on Google Step Questions Database, you will find it. Um, it's also at the maths.org domain. This support program, the foundation modules for it, which can be seen here, there are basically 25 of these assignments which work you through solving more in-depth math problems like the paper three. And if you do these assignments, um, you will find yourself more prepared to tackle these step one questions, which I would call sort of like unsupported paper three questions. They aren't um, cut up into so many pieces that IB paper threes are. So given the scarcity of IB paper three revision material and preparation material, I point you to the step exam. And that's basically the whole point of this video to make you aware of that. So until next time, I hope this video was helpful to, helpful to you. If it was, please subscribe. It is appreciated. Leave a comment or email me at whatchcadomath at gmail.com. Until next time, thank you for watching.